hey guys what's up um today i'm gonna show you how to take the old one out and replace it with a new one so it's getting hard for me to tell where my coolant is if i have the property coolant or the property level so i'm gonna show you how to remove that and how to replace it with a brand new one so all you're gonna need is just a, 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 a plier and a, one of the stool so it's pretty easy and it's not that hard to do the first thing you want to do is you want to come in and pull this back so you can get access to the to the bowl move that all the way in the back and all you have to do is just play with it like that until it come out and once it come out then you just got to come in and unscrew this one all right make sure you take your screw put it somewhere that you can fight later on because you're gonna need them and once you take this out and you lose the screw all you have to do is just pull it on you pull it out uh, once it's out, then you gotta come here and take this one out too. So that's gonna lose it free so you can take it out and replace it with the new one. Uh, once you move it back, once you move the clamp back, all you gotta do is just play with it until it come off. Might wanna get you one of those. So just in case if you got extra cooler, you can use it later on. All right, once you get your old one out, so you're just gonna take this out, that, that plastic or rubber in it. So you're gonna sit down the side and you're gonna take the new one out and you're gonna put it in it. See, once you're done, you're just gonna have to come back here again and do the same process again just like with the same way you take it out as you got the reverse and put it back the same way Uh, once you done connect the bottom one so take your screw back and start put it back together
then, then once you're done, take your plier and put this one back. All right, then about it, which I'll do in the flat. Yeah. Once you're done, then you're just gonna have to fill it up with the coolant, whichever one you decide to go with. All right. All right, that's the one I'm using. So I got the one that I have to mix 50-50 myself. So when you mix it, make sure you go with distilled water. So you have to use distilled water. You cannot use the regular water out of the house. So you gotta go to the market, supermarket, or whatever shop you're going to get distilled water. All right, well, you're gonna do 50-50. I'm using this one so you can use whatever you like or whichever you find as long as it's distilled water so it doesn't matter. Once you done, I uh, once you done mix it, so you're gonna get you one of those off Amazon, so and you can start filling the car. Then you gotta come, then you, come, you gotta come here and start with really some of the bubble. So because when you empty it, it got air in the system. So you gotta make sure you get rid of this air in the system. Right. Once you done fit it, um, you're gonna go ahead and let the car running. So the cooling can go down. Once it stop going down, so it's depending on how low it get, then you're gonna add more cooling and and it's gonna help the air coming out of it too also so i'm going to start the car and let's start running for a couple minutes so to know if i need more cooling or not all right so once once you start it make sure you come here to press that to make sure you get all the air out of the system uh, So make sure you go inside and you turn the heat up all the way to the hat. All the way to the heat of the things all the way out. So that way you can look at things, make 